Hey, uh, hey everyone, it's Evan again, and here's my uh, project on um, thermal energy and heat and whatnot. Uh, you know, you'll notice behind me and around me there's uh, several candles. Well, you know, I'm going to be using these today. Uh, it's not just like a weird pagan ceremony thing. They're, uh, they're here for a reason. Basically, uh, heat is the net energy transferred from one object to another because of a temperature difference. So, you know, every transfer, you, know, you feel cold when your feet are bare on the, say, say this tile ground, because there's a transfer, there's an imbalance in the temperature. Um, basically, the imbalances can be balanced by three different types of transfers. And those are uh, by radiant transfer. So, you know, say, uh, I have this flashlight here. If I held this long enough on something, it would change temperature very, you know, very small, a very small amount because it's just a flashlight and it's, it's, uh, it's not very effective. But, um, yeah, uh, radiant energy, basically, that doesn't need any medium to travel through, unlike the other two forms. So I could, uh, and it actually works better without a medium. Um, you know, like, a light can travel through space. Um, and, uh, conduction is the next one. Basically, conduction is, uh, is the transfer of, uh, of contact. Um, molecules in a solid, uh, that are heated, move faster and kind of jumble around in their crystalline structure. And, uh, they hit other molecules. It's, a, it's basically the, the transfer of collision. So they're hitting other molecules and they're heating up the other surface. So say if I... Ow. Uh, say, <laughs> ow. <laughs> well, uh, say, you know, say if I did that, you know, touch the fire. Um, that'd be a conduction. Um, well, actually, in some ways it is conduction because the, the heat from this candle is heating the air, the, the air molecules, and then touching the air molecules that are heated. Anyway, the third is convection, which is basically the uh, transfer by, um, it's a kind of a creation of a cycle. Um, we can we'll use water, for example, if I held this water bottle up here for long enough, right, uh, you know, right over this candle, a convection current would form, meaning that um, the warm water would rise to the top, causing the colder, heavier, denser water to fall around it, creating a cycle, and thus transferring the heat. Um, what else here? We have latent heat. Latent heat is a bit different. Um, it's the amount of heat needed to change phases. So in between the phase change, um, a material, you know, uh, you know, a gas or whatever, a liquid or a solid, isn't going to change temperature whatsoever. All the energy that's being added to it is going to be going into changing phases, which is the latent heat. Uh, specific heat is a little bit different. Um, like a, uh, it's the amount of heat necessary to change the temperature of a substance, you know, by one degree, a one kilogram substance by one degree. Um, yeah, uh, heat in a solid can actually cause expansion. You've probably seen, um, you know, on uh, sidewalks they have those cracks. Those are because in the summer, during a more of a heated time, the, uh, the sidewalk, the solid, actually expands slightly. And um, those cracks are there to accommodate the expansion. Um, yeah, I want to I keep this short. Uh, that's about it. I hope you like these, uh, these classes. They're new. Uh, thanks. Um, yeah.